Ever pondered why some men are natural leaders while others prefer solitude and independence? Welcome to the intriguing world of Sigma and Alpha males. These terms aren't definitive categories but rather lenses through which we can understand different personality traits and behaviors. Alpha males typically command the spotlight while Sigma males, often misunderstood, thrive in their quiet independence. But what sets them apart? How do they navigate the world differently? Dive in as we unravel the seven major differences between Sigma and Alpha males. First off, let's examine how Sigma and Alpha males handle social interactions. Alpha males typically shine at the center of social situations. They thrive in group settings, always ready to engage and lead the conversation. On the flip side, Sigma males are the masters of solitude. They are more comfortable in one-on-one -on -one interactions, valuing depth over breadth in their social connections. They don't need the crowd to feel validated. In essence, where alphas are social butterflies, sigmas are lone wolves. Next we delve into their distinct styles of leadership. Imagine an alpha, confidently at the helm, making decisions and directing the course. They're the ones in the spotlight, taking charge and leading the pack. Now picture a sigma, quietly influencing from the sidelines. They're the ones who lead by example, showing rather than telling, preferring the background to the limelight. Their leadership is subtle yet powerful, inspiring others without a word. Alphas rule the roost while sigmas inspire from the shadows. Third on our list is their level of independence. Sigma males, the enigmatic lone wolves, place a high value on their independence and self-reliance. They are content to wander their own path, free from the constraints of societal norms. Now, let's look at alpha males. They are often seen leaning on their social connections and status. Their strength lies in their ability to navigate complex social hierarchies. So, in essence, independence is a virtue for sigmas, while alphas thrive on interdependence. Fourth, let's explore their different approaches to success. Alpha males, fueled by their competitive spirit, constantly chase recognition for their achievements. It's a game, a race, a battle they're determined to win. They crave the limelight, the applause, the top spot. On the flip side, Sigma males value personal growth and satisfaction above all else. They seek success, yes, but not for the world to see. Their victories are silent, personal, and deeply rewarding. For Alphas, success is a competition. For Sigmas, it's a journey. Finally, let's tackle the remaining differences. Communication, confidence, and adaptability. When it comes to communication, Alpha males are known for their directness and assertive nature. They command attention, speak their mind, and aren't afraid to make their presence known. Sigma males, on the other hand, are more introspective. Their communication style is less about dominance and more about conveying meaningful thoughts and ideas. They're the ones who listen more than they speak, and when they do, every word carries weight. Now, on to confidence. Alphas exude a bold confidence that is almost palpable. They walk into a room and you can feel their self-assuredness. Sigmas, however, carry a quiet confidence. It's not loud or boastful, but it's there, steady and unshakable, radiating from their self-contained nature. Lastly, we explore adaptability. Alphas are social chameleons, able to adapt to different social settings with ease. They thrive in the company of others, shifting their behavior to fit the situation. Contrarily, Sigma males exhibit a different kind of adaptability. They're comfortable in their own company and can thrive in various environments because they're not reliant on social interactions for validation or happiness. In communication, confidence, and adaptability, we see the final contrasts between our Alpha and Sigma males. So, there you have it, the seven major differences between Sigma and Alpha males. We've traversed the intriguing terrain of social interactions, where Alphas tend to dominate the scene while Sigmas prefer their solitude. We've explored the contrasting leadership styles, with Alphas leading the pack and Sigmas leading themselves. We've seen how independence is a hallmark of the Sigma, while Alphas thrive on social connections. We've examined their varied approach to success with alphas seeking external validation and sigmas finding their own path. And finally, we've delved into the differences in communication, confidence, and adaptability between these two types of males. But remember, these are not rigid categories. Many of us exhibit traits from both, and that's perfectly okay. The labels of sigma and alpha are merely tools to better understand ourselves and others. The real journey is about embracing who you are and striving for personal growth. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.